I have finally launched all of the content that has been recorded in my course, Manifest Your Life in Three Weeks Online, so that you can take it whenever you want as a self-paced study on manifesting one thing you want in your dream life to kickstart that for the next three weeks. At the end of these three weeks, you'll have more confidence on making a breakthrough with that manifestation, whether it be the body of your dreams or the relationship or the job of your dreams. So you can log on. Uh, you can see in my link in the bio, in the link tree, you will see Manifest Your Dream Life in three weeks and it will take you to this site. You can see everything that is included in this course um, for the course outline and I introduce a little bit of myself here. I'm a transformational lifestyle and health coach helping you step into the highest, most vibrational self that you are through embracing a life of want-tos instead of fear. So you can see from the course curriculum what you'll learn in this course, scripting, the preview is free, okay? The coaching and the stay connected and you can see that there's early member, early bird member price, the VIP, and the standard member. Then there's the payment option. So if you're ready, head on to the link in my description bio and you will be able to see all the wonderful things included in this course. I'm just going to show you a little bit of the preview for the scripting. So you have the downloadables right there. And then you have All the right. Welcome to the Manifest Your Dream Life three week course lesson. Okay, see you there, my fitties. I just came back from a really good run, and it just made me so grateful for the polarities in life. Yesterday, I was having a really anxiety ridden day. I was anxious from morning to night, and I felt like as the day went on, the anxiety just escalated. And at night, I was so anxious that I felt like binging. Um, instead, what happened is I passed out on in, in bed. I, I don't know what came over me, but I was a force was with me like, uh, by chance or something. But instead of binging, I just slept. And I had I slept for 11 hours. That was the best sleep I've had maybe all month and it just made me so grateful waking up today with so much more energy with so much more zest in life with so much less anxiety today with so much more gratitude today that it brings me to tears because when I know that I'm having another bad day it's not a mistake I used to live life on such an autopilot where my feelings I almost felt like were muted, almost as if my all my five senses were muted and I had headphones on all of my five senses. And taking that off really requires you to have the strength to feel the polarities. So I had to feel that, I had to feel all of that anxiety, all of that depression, all of that sadness, all of that loneliness, all of that antsiness to feel the way that I do today. And it's almost like I am taking off the headphones that I had on all of my feel, taste, touch, smell, all of that, hear, see. I guess what I'm trying to say is I would rather feel the downs and the ups than live a muted life. Because that muted life was numb. That muted life was dull. And that muted life was like living as a zombie. And I'm just so grateful that I felt low yesterday because it means that I'm able to feel so much better today. I'm able to appreciate so much more. And it, the bittersweet part of it is that you do have to experience the lows in order to feel the highs. So the next time I feel a low, I'll know that this is coming. I was having a really, really shit day yesterday. I'm feeling so much better today. 
and I just want this feeling to last. <laughs> I just want to grab onto this feeling and hug it and never let it go. I'm so scared of losing this feeling that I have right now. If life could be this easy all the time, I think that's my word today when I was meditating. Just the word that came to me was easy and want to instead of have to. I have to a lot myself. But I wanted to run longer today. I wanted to get up and exercise today. I wanted to do minuscule things that I did not want to do yesterday. I want to clean my tea cupboard today. I want to sit here and daydream, whereas yesterday, I did not want to do any of them. I kind of felt like I was just going through the motions and guilting myself that I'm not feeling high after my meditation. So, yeah. This is where I am at. Hear somebody knocking on the door. But I'm not sure if it's for me, so I'm gonna check that out, and I will see you in the next clip. I don't know what I'll, I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful today, and I'm grateful for you for watching this. Social distancing a second cup. Maybe there's a kangaroo inside, hmm? It's about what's on the inside that counts. Yeah, kangaroo in there. I miss this. <sighs> Decaf almond milk latte. I tried to take a peek of their um, the nutrition facts for the coconut milk they were using, but because it was taped to the sides, I could not see the nutrition facts. I wanted to know if they have if it was a sweetened version or not, but I couldn't tell. So I just said, okay, I'll go with the almond milk because I know they always have the sweetened version from, I think, So Nice is the brand. Oh my god, he knows what a stick means. <laughs> he plays half of a fetch game. That's my problem. <laughs> the muffin face, look at him. The muffin face. I want more muffins. Oh, I want more muffins. Give me the muffins. Everyone knows that all butter tastes better whipped. This goes the same for cream cheese, for, I don't know, nut butters. I just feel like anything whipped tastes so much softer and so much fluffier. And so right now I have a stick of butter that I'm gonna whip up right now that I'm actually very excited to whip up. Here we go. Here we go. Ta-da! Ta-da! All done. And so fluffy. I love it. Ha, ah, makes me happy. Mission accomplished. Mm mm. Whipped butter. So soft. 
I love this. Hello, my fitties. It has been a hot minute since I have ever had eel. I haven't had eel in so, so, so long. So, oh, is this gelatin? Oh my God, it's actually grown gelatinous. What? I didn't know that this was... Okay, originally what I was doing was I decided to take the eel out of the package, which was marinated in sugar and all of that crap, right? So to marinate it, wash it off, and then um, soak it in some water so that the next day I can have it. But now that it's gelled into this broth, I don't want this protein to just go to waste. So I think I'm just going to froth it. I'm going to froth this broth. Wow, I didn't know that this would happen. Next time I'm buying eel, this is what I'm doing again. So, you can see that this is the eel that I have. It's really delicious, full of nice, heart-healthy cholesterol. Um, I'm not afraid of cholesterol. In fact, I go out of my way to try to eat it. Um, lots of fats, okay? And some protein. Eel is really good for that. And most of the time, whenever I go to a sushi restaurant, I avoid the eel because it has the sauce on top, but I was able to wash it off. So, I'm gonna have this. I wonder if it tastes better hot or cold. Hmm. Something to think about. Maybe I'll have a little bit of both. So I'll ha I have that, and I have a little bit of shirataki noodles with a little bit of wasabi and some ginseng. <laughs> it's like my own <laughs> sushi little concoction here instead of the rice, and some black pepper. So I'm gonna have that, and I'm gonna preheat the oven and bake a little bit just to see what it tastes like, you know, hot. I'm really, really excited. I haven't had eel in so long because it tastes, uh, because it, it it's quite high value if you try to purchase it. Like this entire thing was probably, I don't know, maybe $16, right? So yeah. All right, so I basically just parted some of the eel. I took some of, some out from here and I put it in the oven, which is baking right now. You can see, I don't really know how long I'll bake it, but I'll just bake it. And I added some pickles and I'm ready to eat this. As you can see, my meals are not entirely gourmet. I kind of just want to get in and get out of the kitchen. This is the kitchen situation. It's not very inspiring, okay? <laughs> and that's the garbage. So yeah, I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna do my three deep breaths and cheers, 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 cheers. I'm so excited to have eel. I haven't had it in so long. Now I have my baked eel here and some of the juices have come out. It looks so good. I think next time I'll just bake them all. Honestly, this was at 350 degrees for I think maybe 15, 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. Look at you! Oh, I'm excited. I want this. I love my food, and my food loves me. It nourishes me. I'm gonna eat. I made myself some amazing salmon skin chips by baking them in the oven for about 20 minutes on 350 degrees. These are literally the skin of salmon. You hear the snack crackle pop. Okay. And then the raw salmon that I deboned from salmon steaks, I wrapped up in nori. Okay, so that's what basically what it looks like. I wrapped it up in nori and then I made a bit of a sauce here that I'm gonna dip it in. Okay. And I can't wait to delve into my little sushi stack. <laughs> All right, some shirataki noodles, garlic, a little bit of wasabi on a rare lamb burger, and I have with me homemade whipped butter. That kind of looks like ice cream, but it's actually whipped butter. So I'm eating a lamb burger right now. I'm having it slightly rare because I like all of my meats basically raw to rare. Obtained the nutrients. baked it in the oven for maybe like 10 minutes really and this is grass-fed lamb so I really love it and I have with me whipped butter I am a happy camper so this is really unique I found that um, in these Elmhurst unsweetened versions or probably maybe even with the sweetened versions that when you empty the cart there's still a little bit of goop from like the nuts that they used with the water and 
I'm just basically, I'm really glad that before I threw it out, I opened it to see if there was anything else remaining. And the difference between this and a regular, let's say like almond breeze, this one is a lot more watered down. It still froths well, whereas this one is a lot more concentrated. And I like that they do use more concentrated ingredients. So it's, yeah, it's just more, it's thicker, I want to say. It's thicker. So I think the ratio of nuts to uh, water is a lot, uh, it's a lot more one-to-one -one than it would be for something more watered down. So yeah, this is going to be yummy.